guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with nothing less than the most powerful mini pc developed by minix and here it is the ng c7 now in terms of the design it's not much different from other computers and if you are looking for something on a little bit lower budget and with a great performance i will leave a link down below for the ngc5 which has an i5 cpu instead of an i7 and it will be a little bit cheaper with a great performance and we actually did a akintosh with it so have in mind i will leave some links down below now this one right over here it's an interesting machine it has an i7 105 10U with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, but we can upgrade up to 64. It also has 512 gigs of storage, which we can upgrade to 2 terabytes, Wi Fi 6, and a lot more specifications that I will leave on the link down below. Activity wise, this is one of the sides. This is the back, so as you can see, a lot of connectivity right over there. And then, of course, on this side, just the two antennas which will give us a great boost in Wi-Fi 6. In terms of results, I can show you a few screens right over there. We got Wi-Fi results, 3D Mark score and Geekbench. And these results are great so that we have an idea of what this computer is capable of in terms of real world performance. Now, having a i7 quad core, eight threads at 4.9 gigahertz, it's a beast and we will do a lot. The only limitation will be the graphics. Now, I would see this computer if it had a Thunderbolt connection, three or four, we could connect a external GPU and that would unleash a beast right over here. Unfortunately, not yet. We have USB Type-C, but without Thunderbolt support. This, I do believe that it's the only weakness that it has. But if you don't need external GPUs or if you don't need a really powerful GPU for gaming, for example, if you are doing video editing or, or other tasks, then you will be just fine. We did a few tests here on gaming, but this is the limitation that we have. We did try a few games. And as you can imagine, with the integrated GPU, we will not be uh, that far. But great results using a ultra wide display, 21 by 9 ratio, and I did play around with the Finch results, had no issues whatsoever. I did swap between a 16 by 9 to a 21 by 9, and both results were really nice. So if you ask me, hey Robert, will I be able to edit videos on this mini computer? Unlike what I usually say with other mini computers that we have seen right over here, this one you can actually do it. Now I did say the same about the NGC5 which was a really balanced computer, a lower price point with great performance and we even as I said did an Akintosh so we could use Windows and Mac OS which is great at that price point but here we have an extra step of CPU performance. So if you ask me for video editing is this one better than the NGC5? Yes. Is it better then the NGC5 for After Effects, yes. I'm a coder programmer, is this one better? Yes, and of course we can uh, upgrade to 64 gigs of RAM, which will even in terms of certain tasks improve the workload that we have on a computer. So it has a lot of advantage, a lot of connectivity. It is worth it if you are doing this kind of tasks. If you are playing games, then this is still not the machine for you unless you play non triple a games then this will be more than fine nonetheless if you want to play those games just to as i do which is xbox game cloud and i can play games anywhere i can play on the phone i can play on mini computers and a lot more that being said hope that you guys enjoyed the video regarding the ngc7 which is awesome to see the most powerful computer designed by Minix and they have gone a long, long way. And if you search the channel for Minix, you'll find all the machines that they have released so far, this one being the top of the line in terms of Windows, of course. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.